One thing I've come to realize in lockdown is that I've got the entire Adobe CC suite and I don't know how most of it works. And now I've got a bunch of free time, I thought that I'd spend today trying to learn five new visual effects in Adobe After Effects. The YouTube channel Film Riot, which I highly recommend if you're also into filmmaking, recently uploaded a video called Five Simple VFX That You Can Try At Home. And I'll be trying to do all of those five things today and see if I can learn something new. If you also have the Adobe Suite, feel free to play along. If not, you can get a free trial for free on the Adobe website or just watch and there you go. All right, without any further ado, let's go to effect number one. All right, so the first effect is just a simple masking, just removing something unwanted from a frame, a person, a light. The example in the video is a light on a street that is uh, illuminating somebody at night. I have also done a light on a street, but uh, as you can see, it's, it's light outside. So it's just, it's just me with a light in a street, <laughs> to be fair. All right, so here is my footage of me standing with a light that is definitely plugged in. And here is my clean plate behind it. So I believe all we do is just track around the light. Make sure you've got the right layer selected. Hit invert and light's gone. Boom. It's like it was never there. Feather that out a little bit. That was indeed a very easy visual effect. Here's a before and after. All right, lovely. Moving on, effect number two is a screen replacement. So just replacing what is being shown on a TV screen or a monitor. I've shot a little something downstairs with my TV. Let's go replace it. All right, so I've got the top footage, which is me just whacking on the TV. And then underneath it, I have Edward and I doing the Mad Libs video the other day. So we're gonna put that on the TV. How do we do this effect? We'll duplicate it. Then on the top layer, use the pen tool to mask out the screen. So they say to duplicate it. We use the old pen tool to go around the edges of the screen. What? Excuse me? That ain't right, Chief. Is there something I'm doing wrong? What? Why is that doing that? I, I, I did nothing and it's fixed itself. Uh, okay, all right, we're, we're back, to, back to normal, folks. I did not change a single thing and it's just decided to just stop doing that. So that's that's good. Set the mask to subtract. Feels like that shouldn't be the thing. We'll feather it, we'll feather it a little bit. What is going on? Who's got the builders in or something? Ah, what have I done wrong now? I can't blink and see the TV. Why has it done this? You can use something like the power pin effect to move each corner until it matches the perspective of the TV. Distort p -p -p power pin. That's uh, on the wrong footage. Sweet. Anyone else just think After Effects is the most confusing piece of software in the world? How does, how do people do this? People like, uh, this is their job. Ah. <sighs> It's insane to me. Why have I got like four things in the render queue? <sighs> uh. All right, so we press render and we go. Help make your footage feel like it blends into the scene better. Move the bottom footage layer up and set the blending mode to screen. The way to do that to add the reflections back on the screen is so simple, but it works so well. You can see like the reflection of the window and that I, I love that. And we're done. All right. Person. Woman. A name of a band. The Archimedes Screws. Ooh, do love me a juicy screen effect. <laughs> the next one is uh, 3D titles, which I have actually done a couple times in the past. But this is slightly more advanced because this is actually a 3D title, whereas my previous titles were just tracked into 3D space, but were 2D. Let's go. Some of you may recognize this shot <laughs> from my New York vlogs. I just nicked it from some drone clip. So we're gonna do the exactly the same one for the old, you know, for a bit of nostalgia, you know. Right, that's our shot. Perfect. Right, click track camera. Select a point and right click, then create null and camera. With the text tool, draw an area and type out your title. All right, we got our tracking points. Sweet. Create null and camera. I suck at 
VFX. Enable 3D and copy and paste the 3D null position to the text. Copy and paste the 3D null position to the text. Can I have that in English, please? Oi, What? That is absolutely not what I wanted it to do. How could it be so wrong? Just stay in one place. That's all I'm asking you to do. Stay in one place. I haven't got any keyframes. How is it moving <laughs> like it's... I've just realized I've done at twice, so I suck at typing as well. See if you're happy with the placement. I'm not happy with the placement. I don't know how to change it. I put at twice. It's just flying around. <laughs> What's going on? It's like a reverse version of the Star Wars entry titles. If you want a more professional 3D look, you can create a new solid and use Video Copilot's Element 3D plugin. Use the text as a custom layer and extrude to your liking. Then you can apply a material. We went with a reflective metallic look. In the World Transform tab, we can change the position value to move it in 3D space, as well as change the rotation angle. To help it visually match the scene more, if you you don't have an HDRI image of your scene, you can use your actual footage as an environment map and tweak exposure and gamma for the reflections. Use the rotation settings to get a reflection you like. Um, I'm gonna do none of that. <laughs> Just gonna uh, render what I currently have and say goodbye. The aim of this video is to try and encourage me to use After Effects more because I'll be like, oh, this is easy. I can just, oh, I can do this all the time. That's not the actual result of this. Thing is, I was able to do exactly that, not even any fancy stuff. I was able to just pull that off almost a year ago in New York. How could I not even do it now? Ah, uh, <laughs> right. Number four is an eye effect. So replacing someone's eye with just like plain black or plain white or glowing or whatever you want to do. There's a million different things you can do with IFX. Obviously it's a little bit difficult with me uh, in glasses. So I've shot this one without glasses just to make my life easier with <laughs> editing. I don't have to deal with all the reflections. Again, I've shot a little clip. Let's go and edit. All right, so this, this is the tricky one. We need to get the one of me doing the eyeball thing. I intentionally shot this at a high frame rate and a high shutter speed so that I would have lots of frames to work with and there was no motion blur that messed everything up. Move to the point in the timeline just after your actor opens their eyes. There. Right click, track and stabilize, track motion. Select the point in the corner of the eye, then track through. Uh, that's pretty cool actually. I have never done that before. It's tracking my actual eyeball and that's not quite what I want. Select children? Why are there children in After Effects? Then track again and do the same for the other eye and null. All right, and play. Oh, it's on the eyeball again. How did that, how is that so nicely done and mine's just everywhere? Ah. All right, uh, I think we're, we're tracked. I think we're gonna make my eyes. I think, yeah, blacks, blacks always good. Draw a shape around the eye, then a shape within that so that it can keep the detail at the sides. Uh, Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh. Now, if I watch that back, um, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Why is it up there? Ah, go back. That's more like it. I don't know what the issue was there. Why is it not even close? Kind of works for the, a little bit at the start, but then it kind of just doesn't. Where do I, oh, I'm so confused. Change it to radial and tweak the setting until you have a small circle. You can Got a little dot there. Oh God, this looks horrendous. Why can't I only see black? Ah, uh, what's going on here? I have no idea. I can't tell what's going on. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, I know, because I'm looking at the composition. <sighs> <sighs> There's like one frame where it looks good. That frame right there. See that? That looks good. The rest of it looks <laughs> shocking. That is the only frame where the effect looks remotely good. And uh, to be fair, that looks pretty cool. We're going to just duplicate that and we're just... That one frame could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Reposition and alter the mask to match the second eye. How did he just do that? 
How do you make it just reverse? How? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to blink and do this by hand, don't I? Yeah, that's about good. Whoa, okay. That eye's worked a lot better than the other eye. Where's our one good frame? There it was. Boom. That frame right there looks good. The rest of them, mine as well not be there. <laughs> what is that? I think I really messed up with the 3D tracking. Why do I do so many keyframes? That's the real question here. What is, no. Looks better than it did. <laughs> and does the mask path override the 3D camera tracking? I hope so, because then I can fix this. Oh, I did so many keyframes here as well. I'm not exactly being very precise about this because I just know it's not going to look very good. Whoa, what, why do you do this? Oh, I should have just spent an extra 20 seconds with that 3D camera tracker. If this doesn't work and I watch this through and it's just still awful, I might cry. My eye is surely not that shape. Alright, let's see how that looks. <laughs> it looks like my eye is some kind of insect. It's just moving around all over the place. That improved it, but marginally. I think we're done here. We've tried our best and ultimately we failed. Let's go ahead and hit render. <laughs> it looks so bad. Also, why are my ears horizontal? All right, that was effect number three. <laughs> it's a little before and after for you. Ooh, that was gosh darn spooky. Fourth effect is basically cloning, which again, I've, I've done before. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. This one, dead easy. You know what? I'm not even gonna watch what they're doing there. And to be fair, I don't technically need to use After Effects for this. I could just use Premiere Pro, which I do tend to use and it is much easier. But considering this is an After Effects video, we're gonna uh, do the, uh, uh, yeah. All right, so we've got our top footage and we've got our bottom footage. So we are going to do our own little favorite thing in the world, a uh, cheeky mask. I don't think I had anything selected when I was doing that mask, so that was, that was a giant waste of time. There we go. And that's it. That's it. You just make a mask around it and then boom. Give me a little um, bit of a feather there. Sweet, and there you got your, your old uh, cloning shot. And of all of them, that one looks the cleanest because it is by far the easiest. We're just gonna render that puppy. <laughs> Seen that new Gazette video? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Seen that new Gazette video? Yep, I know. Yeah. And hey, didn't even need to use the video. It's that easy. So, that video was a massive failure. Thanks for watching, hopefully you learned something because I learned that I am horrendous at VFX and I should definitely not consider it as a career path. Uh, I have a newfound huge amount of appreciation for people like the Corridor crew guys who do this for a living because I, it's unfathomable to me. If you happen to be a VFX whiz, please tell me what I did wrong. I'd be interested to know. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you feel inclined and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.